Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Fine, and you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great today. Mm -hmm. Did you do your homework? Yes, yes. And okay, good. Yes. Okay, and the test, right? Yes. Hello, Carlos Ernesto, how are you doing? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. Great. Hello, Walter Mauricio, are you there? I think everybody is having trouble with the audio. Maria Fernandez having troubles too. Let's see, Francisco Eduardo, are you there? Sure. Hi, good, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good How night. are you today? I'm fine. Great. I'm ready for the class today. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, Hello, today everybody. we. Okay. You had troubles? No. Okay. Hello, Walter Mauricio. How are you? Hello, Maria Fernanda. Welcome to your class. Hello, good evening. Good evening. ¿Pudieron todos accesar a la plataforma y hacer su examen intermedio? ¿Su examen parcial? Hello, hello. hello Walter. Hello. Yes, we hear you, but barely hear you. There is the galaxy over there. Connecting. <laughs> Always remember that you have to sign in with two names and two last names. One name, middle name, last name, and last name. Do you have any question about the content from yesterday's class? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of traumatic, right? <laughs> Okay. Tomorrow I'm going to have my vaccine. Yeah. Tomorrow. Thank God finally I received the appointment. And so tomorrow I'm going to be vaccinated. How are you? How are you, Leslie? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher, and you? Okay, great. I'm fine too. I'm fine. Thank great. you. Yeah. Hello, Wilfredo, welcome. Oh, he's connecting with the audio at the moment. Who is Galaxy A20? Hey, guys. Who is Galaxy something? 
Remember to sign in with the with your name, okay? It's very important. Oh, okay. So you've got two devices, Carlos. Do you have two devices connected? Tienes dos aparatos conectados. Tienes tu teléfono también. Estás haciendo el Hot Mobile uh, the Spot, ¿no? Hot Mobile Spot, no. Okay, because someone is. Um... Oh, I think it's. Okay, let's wait for him, but I think it's him because I think it is. Oh no, Carlos Ernesto is sending a text message. So it is not Carlos Antonio, right? The one in the galaxy. Okay, okay, there you go. So now we are going to start taking the attendance because it's a must. So we have to take the attendance guys. Okay. Wednesday the 28th. Okay. There we go. Angel is not here. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Not yet. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz, not yet. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Okay. Eduardo Ademir Noyo Labrito, not yet. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Present teacher. Okay, great. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Okay, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Um, Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present teacher. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Ok, Walter. Ok, Wilfredo. And William Isaac Montoya Avila. Okay. Teacher, I'm here. Let me see, please. Was there Angeli? Excellent, Angeli. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And zero here. So I took note. Now we are going to start. I'm still wondering who is Galaxy A20 because I need the name over there. If you know who's who's connected from that Galaxy, please send a message and let me know or tell him or her to change, um, to sign in with the complete name, okay? Ese que está conectado con Galaxy A, si ustedes saben quién es, porfa, me hacen saber. Ok. Este, teacher, es el mío, de oh. Elvia. Ok, Elvia, is that possible for you to sign in with your complete name, please? Your full name? Es necesario ver, tu no, ver su nombre sí. ahí. Su... Ya lo voy a okay. arreglar. Ok, perfecto. Muy bien. 
Y en la medida de lo posible, recuerden que debemos tener nuestros videos encendidos porque esto es una práctica, ¿verdad? Es parte del, de la dinámica de la clase, chicos. ¿Ok? Sí. ¿Is everybody re ready? Ready. Ready. <laughs> ok, but are you on? Great. There you go. Excellent. So we're going to start today. Uh, I, I want to invite you going shopping. Who likes going shopping? Everybody, right? Everybody does. So let's see. I'm going to share the screen. I sent already the, um, the dialogue over there in the group. So you have it handy. But I want to share the screen with you. Okay. Uh, it was good already and I changed it. Okay. Okay, here it is. This is a dialogue to start today, okay, to warm up a little. So this conversation is between a salesperson and the store. This is a uh, person to person, okay? So the salesperson and Carla is in the store. Carla is in the store looking for something, okay? You are going to tell me what she's looking for and what size and everything. So you are going to retell this story later. So right now, let's try to understand this dialogue, okay? I'm going to read it first, and then you are going to repeat, and then we are going to practice together, okay? Salesperson, may I help you? Carla, yes, I'm looking for a jacket, a size large. Salesperson, let's see. Over there, follow me. Here we have this in gray. It's a very versatile, versatile style. Carla, I'm not sure about the color. I'd like a jacket in a bright color. Salesperson says, I can offer this other style in orange, red and yellow and here they are in the correct size would you like to try on one of this yes please may i try one of each color to decide which one i will take no problem okay you got it are you ready to yes. to repeat after me okay yes, are you ready yes teacher ready. Please activate your audios. So let's see. May I help you? May I help, May you? help, I help you? you? Yes, I'm looking for a jacket, a size large. Yes, yes. I'm looking for a jacket. Let's see. Over there. Follow me. Let's see. Let's see. Over, see. There. Over, there. Over, there. Over there. Follow me. Here. We have hey. this in gray. It's a very versatile style. Here we, Here. we, we have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. style. I'm not sure about the color. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about the color. I'd like a jacket and a bright color. I can offer these other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here they are in the correct size. Would you like to try on one of these? I can, I can offer, offer these other styles in orange, red, and yellow. And yellow. And yellow. 
They are in the forest. July, 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 Okay, great. Uh, now we're gonna do it a little uh, slower or sentence by sentence, okay? I can offer this other style in orange, red, and yellow. I can, I can get over this other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here, they are in the correct size. They are in the correct size. Would you like to try on one of these? Would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide which one I will take? May I, May I try, I try one, one of each 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 one I will take. take. No problem. No, no, no problem. problem. Okay, I'm going to um, leave this thing here. Okay, I'm um, stop sharing. And now, what was this conversation about? What was Carla looking for? For a jacket. Carla is looking. Carla is looking. Please, everyone. Carla is looking for? Carla is looking for? Carla is looking for? For what? Jacket. Okay, Carla, Carla is, for... is looking for a jacket. Everyone, Carla is looking Carla for a jacket. Okay. Carla is Carla looking, is for, looking jacket. for a jacket. Okay, now tell me, what size is she looking for? What size? Carla? Carla is looking for Carla needs size. The size slash. Okay, yeah. Carla. Let's say was because uh, it's it already happened, right? Uh, Carla was looking for a size uh, large. Okay, great, excellent. So now, did she find what she was looking for? Did she find what she was looking for? Yes, she did. Okay, okay. She was looking for a jacket in a different color, right? So yes, she found something, okay? Now, let's see, let's see. Let's go back. I'm going to share the conversation again, okay? And I want... Rita and Rosa, please. Okay. May I help you? Yes, I am looking for a jacket. A size large. Let's see over there. Follow me here. We have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. I am not sure about the color. I like a jacket in a bright color. I can offer this other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here, they are in the correct size. Could you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. Mary, I try one of each color the, to decide which one I will, I will take no problem. Okay. Excellent. You did a great job. Now, let's see. Wilfredo, please. Uh, Wilfredo is not there at the moment. Let's see. Angeli and Edward, please. Sorry. No problem, Wilfredo. Uh, right now is okay. Angeli and Edward turn. Okay. Okay. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a jacket, a size large. Let's see. Over there, follow me. Here we have this in gray. 
it's a very versatile style. I'm not sure about the color. I like a jacket in a bright color. I can offer this other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here, they are in the correct size. Would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide which one I would take? Oh, no problem. Okay. Does anybody have a question about the vocabulary in this conversation? And what the meaning versat versatile versal versatile. That you can use that you can use that object in different ways. Okay, in different ways. Uh, it's not only one function. Okay, for example, in this case, they are talking about the style, so it could be like casual and formal at the same time, right? So it's versatile. Okay, it's versatile. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, Leslie and Wilfredo, please start. Okay, may I help you? Who is going to be Carla? Uh, I think you. <laughs> I My. think you are. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to. Okay. Okay, okay. This is no problem. There you go. Uh, yes, I'm looking for a jacket, a size large. Let's see over there. For me, here we have this and gray. It's very versatile. Stay. I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about the color. I like a jacket in a bright color. I can offer this. Uh, Still is orange, red, and yellow. Um, here they are in the color size. Would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide which one I would take? No problem. Okay, great. Excellent. So now let's see. Let's see. We have uh, Maria Fernanda, please, and Carla. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a jacket outside large. Let's see, over there, follow me. Here we have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. I'm not sure about the color. I like a jacket in a brint color. I can offer the other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here they are in the correct size. Would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide which one I could take? No problem. Excellent, girls, excellent. Remember, in a bright color, in a bright color. Bright color. Okay, good. So now, we are going to retell this story, okay? You have to tell me what happened, but we are going to use here uh, the past tense, okay? You are going to tell me what happened. So let's see and let's start. I'm going to start telling the story, okay? Here I've got it. Okay, we're going to retell the story. So I'm going to start. Carla went to a store. Carla went to a store. Mm -hmm. Next, what happened next? Ah, the salesperson offered help, right? Carla wanted a jacket. 
So now, who wants to continue the story? What happened next? Carla wanted a jacket. Um, maybe the salesperson offer one jacket in color gray. Okay, good. Uh huh. But Carla want a bright color. Okay. So let's think here. The salesperson offered uh -huh, a gray jacket. But uh -huh, Carla, Carla want, wanted want, wanted uh -huh, a bright color. A bright color, okay. So, what happened next? Let's see, Maria Fernanda, Carlita, Rita. Let's continue the story here. Did they have the correct size? What size was Carla looking for? A size large. Okay, did they have that size? And the bright color jackets? Size large is bright color. Okay, so they had, they, jacket, jackets, and the correct size. Which size? The sales, per sales person find the correct size. Great. Ah, that's a very good sentence. The salesperson found, okay, found. This found. is the past tense of the verb find, okay? Yes. The salesperson found the correct size. Okay. The correct size, what else? Large. Okay, large. And uh -huh. uh, maybe the salesperson mm -hmm. say to Carla uh, the style of jacket in various color. Okay, excellent. So the salesperson, uh, we're going to do it because of the time the events happen, right? The salesperson uh -huh, offered a different style, yes. a different, right? Uh, yes, a different style in different and various colors, you say, right? And uh, diverse, we're going to say diverse colors. Which colors? Like red, uh huh, orange, orange, orange. yellow, excellent, and yellow, and yellow. Okay, the salesperson found the correct size, large. What happened next? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Okay, tell me please. Carla wanted, wanted uh, uh, 
How do you say probar? Try on. So wanted try to on. try on. Mm -hmm. Wanted to uh, try one on. One of each color. One of each color. It's Excellent. Uh-huh. And then? To decide the... To decide. Mm -hmm. To decide. Which one? to take okay yes. excellent everybody agrees okay now let's read the story now let's read the story okay let's read the story the complete thing we're gonna tell to a friend right we're telling this to a friend and uh, let's see who wants to read it who wants to read, read the complete story? Silvia, is it okay? Do you want to read it, please? Yes, teacher, I want to read it. Excellent, go ahead. Okay. Carla went to a store. The salesperson offered help. Carla wanted a jacket. The salesperson offered a gray jacket but Carla wanted a bright color. The salesperson offered a different size in the diverse colors, like red, orange, and yellow. The salesperson found the correct size large. Carla wanted to try one to try on one of each color to decide which one to take. Excellent, excellent. Very good, guys. So now we know how to retell a story. We use the past tense, the simple past tense. What do we um, have to take in consideration here? That we use regular verbs and irregular verbs, okay? There are verbs that change completely and there are verbs that only add E D and I, I shared a material on the group for you to practice the pronunciation of E D at the end. Did you see the video? Did you see the video? It was quite long, but it's very interesting. Okay. Did you see the video? Who saw the video? About the pronunciation how to pronounce ed endings. Yes, teacher, um, I okay. see a part, a part of video. <laughs> a part of it, okay. Okay, this is very important because we use a lot, a lot in English, this ending. is not only for past simple tense, it's for other tenses and the verbs, and also for the adjectives, okay? Adjectives are very important. How to uh, pronounce these words with ed ending. So please watch the video and you will see that this is only with practice, okay? You are going to master the pronunciation only with practice. But now, let's go back to the story. Let's go back to the story. Can you please tell me the irregular verbs that you found in this story? Found. Okay, found is one, uh-huh. Irregular. Irregular. Mm, I'm going to select it for you to see it. It's not possible. Mm. Uh huh. Which other? This one? 
Wanted. Okay, wanted is regular, okay? Because it, uh, it ends with ed, right? Wanted, regular, very good. Now, went, do you think went is irregular? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. What is this past verb form from? What is the present form yes. of this verb? Go. 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 It changed completely into went. Go, went. Correct? There you go. Go, went. Now, let's see. Uh, we have found and went. Do we have another here? No, right. We have they offered and wanted. Two other verbs. Okay, now we're go. Um, let me erase this first. Let me erase this first. Now. Okay, now. Okay, in your manuals, in your manuals, we have the topic for today. The topic for today is that we need to learn how to express in the negative way things that didn't happen. Okay, things that didn't happen. So we are going to learn the negative way. What do we use? What do we use? And what is the way to express the negative form for the to be verb? Let's read this. Let's read these sentences. Number one, I wasn't interested. I wasn't interested. You weren't cold. You weren't cold he wasn't kind he wasn't kind the people weren't helpful the people weren't helpful they weren't online they weren't online okay now everybody please activate your audios and let's say i wasn't interested I wasn't interested. You weren't cold. You, you weren't, you weren't cold. cold. He wasn't kind. He wasn't, he wasn't kind. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. The people weren't helpful. Weren't helpful. They, weren't helpful. they weren't online. They, they weren't, weren't online. 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 Okay, then these are the contractions, okay? These are the contractions, but they complete. Yes, uh, Walter, okay. Was not, okay? This means was not. When we want to do emphasis and the way of expressing something that didn't happen or didn't, um, yeah, didn't happen in this case, right? Uh, then we use the complete form, was not. For example, if I am angry, I usually, I'm not gonna say I wasn't. I'm gonna say I was not, okay? I was not interested doing emphasis. So we use a lot also they complete form, that full form. So now let's see, this is equals to wasn't, okay? Wasn't. Now, where? Not, okay? Where not is equals to weren't, okay? We use was not for he, mm -hmm. she, okay, I, excellent, you, mm -hmm. 
Mm, in this case, you. Mm -mm. Okay. Eat. Eat. Okay. He, she, eat. I'm sorry. He, she, eat, and I. Okay. Now let's see for where. Where we use it for you. We. we okay. We. They. 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 Okay. We and they. And you for singular and you for plural. Okay. You for singular and you for plural. Only you and all of you. Okay. So singular and plural. So now let's see. Let's see here. For example, I was in class last night. Okay. I was Me. in class. Oh, so you wasn't. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Okay. Then Carlos wasn't in the class last night. Okay. Good. Good example. <laughs> okay. Now, Let's see, can you give me an example using was not and were not? I wasn't angry yesterday. Okay. But today, are, uh, are you? <laughs> no, right? No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, I wasn't, okay. What about today? I'm not, okay? I, I, I'm very happy. Okay, great, excellent. So I wasn't angry yesterday, good. Can you give me another example, please, Edward? So, sorry, teacher, I have problem um, okay. with other, other cases, sorry. Okay, no problem. So uh, let's see, Carlos Antonio? Um. Yeah. Carlos wasn't in class last night. That was the first example. So I just was reading, um, uh, writing it. So let's see, uh, Leslie, please. Could you please give me an example? You read my mind, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry. your image, your image, your image. Okay, <laughs> yeah. let's see. Let's see, Leslie. Uh, Think about an example, everyone, please. Leslie. I was not in the gym today. Ah, oh, great. I wasn't at the gym today. Today morning. Is okay. it okay? Okay, today morning. To specify the time frame, okay? Uh-huh. Now, let's see another, please. Um, is Sandra in? Not yet, right? Francisco, please. Hello, teacher. Could you please give me an example using wasn't or weren't? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, and any idea. This is just for you to show that you understood, okay? Okay, uh, I went to job uh, yesterday. Okay, this is uh, using, using a different verb, okay? I went shopping yesterday, okay? Oops, okay. I went shopping yesterday. Okay, this is an, a good example when we are seeing or are studying the irregular verbs, okay? It's a very good um, example. But now using was or were not. Now let's see, Maria Fernanda, can you give me an example 
of a thing that you wasn't, I mean, you weren't or? Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't cooking uh, breakfast this morning. Okay, in this case, I wasn't cooking. Okay, this is the correct. Like, I wasn't cooking breakfast this morning. Excellent, okay. Okay, now, is there any question about this? Not teacher. No? Okay, then let me go to some activities, okay? These activities that we are gonna check right now, just let me find them. This is just to continue with the idea here. Let me check first. Okay, first, before, before going with that, I was checking my, my agenda here. Before of going, to the activities, direct to the activities, we're gonna to go to our manuals, okay? We're gonna to go to our manuals and I want you to think about things that you uh, usually forget to do. Now, let's, let, let me get there. Okay, here we are, here we are. And I'm going to ask a question to you. Okay, did you ever forget an instruction that maybe your bus gave you? Did you ever forget an instruction that your bus gave you sometime, anytime? Did you ever? Uh, usual, it is, it is, uh, how do you say, usualmente, usually? Usually, usually, usually. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't write the instruction that the boss give us, it, uh, it is possible that in the future we can forget the, the instruction. Okay. We can give bad instruction or the other people. Okay. Okay, guys, any of you have uh, ever received a message and for any chance, did you ever forget to give the message that someone gave you or asked you to, um, to tell another one? to someone else? Did you ever forget giving messages? Did you? Yes. yes. In, in, my, in my case, teacher, uh, when I have, uh, when I have uh, the, this in my work, I, usually I forget uh, any, any, anything else, uh, give instruction uh, on, to my, to my, colleagues. Okay. Um, sometimes I forget uh, uh, my uh, how do you, I don't remember uh, meet uh, reunions. I, I, okay, I meetings. Use, sometimes I, I forget meetings and, but I use um, my uh, uh, schedule in okay. the computer on the phone too to remember the the to <laughs> set <laughs> alarms to set yes. alarms okay yes okay now here we have a conversation um 
about something like, like that, okay? About something like that. Let me read it for you. And then we are going to practice this conversation. And I want you to see the use of was in the ne negative way and another figure here, okay? Another word that it's going to say no, but for the past tense. Now, let's see. This conversation is between Luz and Eva, okay? And I'm going to read it as a text and then we are going to repeat after, you are going to repeat after me. Now listen, can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent yeah. didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Someone forgot some things in the process, okay? So let's see, let's see, and let's read it again. Can you tell me more about your experience? Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? Do you remember the agent's name? No. I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Okay, now, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Apologies. Apologies is to say sorry in a very formal way. Okay. It's to say I'm sorry. Okay. Any other question? Okay. Now you repeat after yes, me, sir. please. Yes, tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what mean actually? Actually, ah, this is a very interesting word and it's very used, okay? It's a common word that express, um, not as we think, actually is not actualmente, okay? Actually is like, uh, uh, in the real way, okay, for sure this happened, or this is really what happened, okay? In the reality, okay, that's another way to say actually. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay, there you go. Anybody else? questions? Okay, then let's activate our audios and let's repeat after me, please. Can you tell me more about your experience? Can you tell, Can you tell me more, you tell me more about, about your experience? It wasn't so nice. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't so, nice. so nice. Because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. Because, because the agent the didn't, didn't, the agent didn't, didn't have a confirmation number. 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 He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. He, he didn't, didn't send, send, send a receipt for what, what I bought. bought. Do you remember the agent's name? Do you, Do you remember, remember the, agent's the agent's name? name? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Actually, I think he didn't say his name. Actually, he didn't, he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. He wasn't kind. 
my apologies for that. My, my apologies, apologies for that. that. And what about our product? And, and what about, what about, about product? product? Could you use it? Could you use it? Yes, I could. Yes, I could. I could. I could. It wasn't so easy. It, it wasn't, it wasn't so, easy. so easy. But I called another agent again. But I called another, another, another agent, agent again. He was so considerate. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. His, His name, name was Romeo. Romeo. And he explained everything to me. And he explained Ok, ahorita les voy a dar un tip. Cuando nosotros leemos, incluso en español nos pasa lo mismo, para poder tener el sentido de una oración o una idea, tenemos que llegar con el mismo aire, más si estamos leyendo en voz alta, ¿verdad? O en la, eh, sí, con el mismo aire, hasta el primer punto o al, al primer signo de puntuación que encontramos, ¿ok? No nos detengamos en medio, aunque nos vayamos resbalando y, y dándonos duro con la pronunciación de las otras palabras, pero tratemos de llegar hasta el signo de puntuación. Hagamos este ejercicio el día de hoy, ¿ok? Este es un tip. Cuando ustedes leen en voz alta, voy a leer nuevamente y damos la entonación que el signo de puntuación nos está indicando, ¿ok? Is the same thing in English. Is the same thing as in Spanish. Así que cuando ustedes lean, por ejemplo, yo voy a leer la primera pregunta. Can you tell me more about your experience? Ah, llegué hasta él, signo de uh, pregunta, ¿verdad? Al, de signo de interrogación. Now, I'm going to read the next. It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. ¿Ok? Llegué hasta el signo de puntuación en el mismo aire. ¿Ok? Now, he didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. ¿Ok? Ven ustedes a llegar hasta el signo de puntuación. Aunque me vaya dando duro con las pronunciaciones, continúe, continúe, continúe y llega el signo de puntuación. Vamos a ver. Ok, now, vamos a probar. We're going to make a try here, ok? And let's start. Francisco and Rita. Francisco okay. and Rita. Francisco, Luz, Rita, Eva. Ok? Ok, teacher. Can you tell me more, more about your experience? It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't keen. Kind. Mm -hmm. Kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you still use it? Yes, I could. I wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Excellent. Great. Good exercise. Now let's hear here. Let's hear Rosa and Rosa and um, Carla, please. Rosa is Luz and Carla is Eva. Can you tell me more? more about your experience? I wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a restriction for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I seen he didn't say his name. He wasn't kid. Kind. My apologies for that. Um, what about our, our product? Could you use, use it? 
Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romer, and he explained everything to me. Okay, good. Good, very good. Now, let's see. Do you have any question about this conversation? Any other question? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia donde dice donde está la conversación de Eva? Donde dice what I bought for what I bought. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's correct. Like boat or boat. It's okay. Boat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Boat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just say but, but it's kind of uh, confusing with another bad word. So we don't say it like that usually. It's not that bad, but it is not nice word. So we can say boat. <laughs> Yes, like sir. the boat. Uh huh. Tell me. I have a question. Yes, uh, tell me. What means so nice? Uh, so nice. It means not pleasant. Okay. Uh, it was not pleasant. That person was not fine. Um, he didn't do his job well, or he was not kind. Mm hmm. Okay, teacher, thanks. Maybe that person was angry or was in a rude way, okay? A rude mood, a bad mood, yeah. So that's when you say uh, that that person is not so nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, now let's see. Let's see here the bold, the bold words wasn't ah we remember was not right but now what's the way to say no in a past tense with other verbs different than to be ah let's see the agent didn't give ah this is very interesting because you have to take care about this please please be careful with this when we use didn't to say no, okay, we use the present tense, okay? We use the present tense. The past tense is given by didn't, okay? The present tense is given, I'm sorry, the past tense is given by didn't, and we use the verb in the present tense. So be careful with that. Now let's see the other didn't and what is the verb here send okay didn't send send is in the present tense form and didn't makes it in a past tense okay so let's see here he didn't say ah say is the present form of the verb now let's see uh well those are the uh, the only ones i think didn't didn't give didn't sound and didn't say now let's go to the activity here okay and this is a list this is a list that we have to make we are going to read the conversation again and we are going to write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't happen, okay? Now, let's see. Things that uh, did happen. Let's see. What do you think? Mm -hmm. In the list of did, what do you think? In the list of didn't, what do you think? Yes. 
read the conversation again. I'm going to give you a minute, okay? Two minutes, read the conversation. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, in didn't mm -hmm. um, maybe mm -hmm. uh, didn't give me a confirmation number. Okay, good. Didn't give me a confirmation number. Great. So the agent didn't give. Okay, the agent didn't give a confirmation number. Okay, didn't give. A confirmation number. What else? What else didn't the agent do? A confirmation number. Okay, he didn't give a confirmation number. Uh, what else? He didn't send uh -huh. a re receipt for what above. Okay, he didn't send the receipt. Mm -hmm. Didn't say his name. Okay, he didn't say his name. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Now, did, did the customer use the product? Yes. Then in the list of deed, we're gonna say the customer used the product, okay? The customer mm -hmm. used the product. Okay. What else? She called. She called another agent. Okay, okay. great. She called another agent. And he was um, mm -hmm. considerate. Okay. Okay, let's say he. Who was him? Uh, okay, he was so. He was considering. Okay, did this agent give his name? Did this agent, this new agent, give his name? Yes, he did. Yes. Okay, what was his name? His name was Romeo. Okay, Romeo. then he, May. for the new agent, right? Uh, he gave his name. Okay. What did he do? What did he do? He explained uh -huh. everything. Okay. He Explained. Explained everything. 
There we go. Okay, then. Can you please tell me the list of didn't? Repeat the list of didn't. Didn't gave. Mm -hmm. He didn't gave a confirmation number. Let's say the agent, right? The first agent, okay? okay. To, uh, for not getting confused. Okay, the first agent didn't give. Remember, didn't and present tense. Didn't give. Didn't give. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Okay. Didn't give a confirmation number. Okay, now what else didn't happen? He then did it. Uh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't even send. He didn't say his name. Okay. Again, Wilfredo. Thank you, Rosa. He didn't say his name. He then didn't Wilfredo. even send. Okay, that even uh, we can say he didn't send. Okay, he, he didn't, didn't send. He didn't send uh -huh. a receipt. A receipt. Uh -huh. Okay. Tisha, he yes. didn't say his name. Excellent. He didn't say his name. Good. Uh huh. And what other really happened, but he wasn't kind. Okay. He wasn't kind. You can write it down there. Okay. He wasn't kind. Okay, that the activity completed. Okay, we read the conversation and then we wrote the activities that happened and those that didn't happen. Okay, did you take note? May I erase? No, teacher, please. Okay, go ahead, no problem. I wait. Meanwhile, you are taking note, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Angeli, Magali Coronado Diaz. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. One second. You can erase the sentences, teacher. Thank oh, okay, you. thank you, thank you. Now, Angeli was there. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present Carlos, teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Uh, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Edward. I know you're having troubles uh, with the connection. Elvia Yanet Beltran de Cabrera. Present teacher. Yes, yes. Thank you. Elvia Yanet Beltran de Cabrera. Elvia was there, right? And Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Present teacher. Okay, Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Ok, Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present, teacher. 
Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra wasn't there, right? Sandra is not here. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Isaac Montoya Avila. Okay, now just let me share these. I would expect them to be cool. I think someone got wrong with the group. Just let me let me share this for you. Okay, we were asking before, did you ever forget about given instructions? Did you ever forget about given instructions? And Wilfredo told us that if he uh, doesn't or didn't write the instructions that maybe he could forget them, right? And the other question, did you ever forget to give someone messages you received for them? Uh, did you ever forget to give someone someone's messages you received. So now we are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to talk about experiences when we forgot giving the messages or when we forgot for any reason the instruction our boss gave us. This is very important because you are going to tell an experience, okay? What happened? Um, please, now think about your own story and let's go to the breakout rooms. I send these questions to the group, okay? I share them with you. So now I'm going to stop the sharing here and I'm going to break in different rooms. There we go. So let's talk, let's discuss about that. Fausto, did you receive the message? Did you receive the invitation? Hi, teacher. Uh, yes, uh, only uh, I just connected. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. Okay, go ahead. What about it? It. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, teacher. Okay, no problem. Please connect <laughs> to your room. There you okay. go. Yourself, okay, yes. 
va, este, entonces este, trabajemos en, en base a, a, a eso. Did you ever forget? You can you can tell experience. You can tell experience when you forgot to give any instruction or you forgot to do the instruction they gave you. Okay, to follow the instructions. What happened? Was it a problem? Uh, did you cause a problem? And how did you solve it? Okay, this is what we are gonna talk. So I want to hear you, girls. <laughs> um. Uh, I think uh, a bit. <laughs> uh, um, anything, anything. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Uh, um, forget this. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember experience? Um, yeah. Right now, right. Oh, okay. You forget the instruction for this. Good. That was a good one. Excellent. Right now. Okay. The instruction was to discuss, to discuss about what happened when you forget the instructions. But you should ask the questions, not me. Ray Maria Fernanda. Good one. Okay. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Um. Okay, I I am uh, Rosa. Did you ever forget about give in instructions? Yes, I I am. Yes, I forget uh, anything. Okay, and Carla, did you ever forget about giving instructions? I, I always, as Cassie siempre, <laughs> I always forget instruction. Okay. And did you ever forget to give someone's message you receive? Uh, yes, uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I forget uh, uh, the message I received. What about you, Maria Fernanda? Uh, forget the instructions. Uh, yes, <laughs> and always forget the instructions. <laughs> And message, uh, I sometimes forget uh, uh, to give message. Okay. You see, do you see here that in the conversation we were seeing in the in the manual, in the manual, uh, they had a problem for someone who didn't follow the instructions or who didn't follow the steps, right? So in your cases, have you had or did you ever had a problem for not following this, the instructions? Have you caused a problem? In this case, imagine it was with a customer. Uh, she, she was dissatisfied for the customer service agent uh, procedures, right? Or behavior in this case, because she said she, uh, this guy wasn't so nice, right? But um, imagine in your cases. In my case, in my work, uh, I write the instruction, uh, but Okay, when you write the instructions, you don't forget them. Okay, good, good. 
What about you girls, Rosa and Carla? In my, in my case, um, sometimes uh, uh, the intrusion, uh, intrusion, uh, um, the service uh, customers, uh, uh, and sometimes, uh, Okay, then in this case, did you ever forget to give instruction to a customer? You give the instructions to, to the customers and the customers forget the instructions. That's very common. That's very common. Yeah, and customers come back and say, you didn't tell me, but you did. Okay, so, or sometimes you didn't tell them the pro and you cause a problem because you didn't tell them. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Rosa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you work in a solution for that problem. Okay, good. What about, uh huh? My, I am a teacher and the students always forget instructions. <laughs> yes, I can tell. <laughs> Do your homework on the platform. Yeah, and you're, where did you say teacher? <laughs> it is true, it is true. Okay, girls, continue talking about these instructions and forgetting things, and I'm going to another room, okay? Bye, girls. Continue. You're doing a good Bye, job. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye. Bye, teacher. Hey, I, hello, teacher. Hi. How are you doing? I, I'm here. I'm here. Continue. Continue. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> in in other in other time, uh, I forgot the the one report. Um, in in the morning, we send various report. And I forgot send one one report. Oh, <laughs> okay. And your boss uh, was was very angry. I imagine. Yes, yes, <laughs> very angry. <laughs> and what did the you do to fix it? Uh, I. Uh, I do a checklist, uh -huh. a checklist the the all report, and every day I review the checklist. Okay, oh, yeah. then you can use actually. Actually, I do a checklist. Okay, okay? when you say actually. the hecho, right? Actually, I. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. I actually I I do a checklist in the. Review checklist every day. It's a very good idea. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, but you you have to be very disciplined to do that, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because usually I think everyone is just, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, 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 no problem. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nobody writes right in the agenda. I've got my yes. my agenda, but it is empty. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you've got to okay, be very sure. disciplined, but it's a very good idea. Yeah. In the, for a mistake. The, uh -huh. And the, the problem with uh, that report uh, is the claim is, is uh, uh, how do you say, when they say, cliente delicado? Uh, they are VIP clients, or maybe they are, uh, you have to treat them gently, okay? Treat them gently. Mm -hmm. Gently. Gently. Okay. Mm -hmm. so the, the, our client is very gently. Delicate. <laughs> no, delicate. Delicate. But uh, you have to treat them very gently. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. And, and so 
this very important uh, we 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 don't forget or didn't forget didn't or, forget. or don't forget uh -huh. present don't forget. or past um, present don't forget the same, same report. Okay. What about you, Angeli? In my case, um, sometimes I forgot to send a, a correspondence okay. to other agency and it's it's a it's a big mistake because my boss, uh, uh, se, how do you say, se pone? Got angry, got mad. Got angry. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> got um, mad is more than angry. Mad. Got mad. mad. Mm -hmm. Got mad. Yes. Mm. Y de mal humor. Yeah, and a very bad uh, mood, bad mood. Bad mood. Mm -hmm. For yeah. a long time. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it causes a lot of problems. It causes a yes. lot of problems. Maybe it delays processes, right? If you don't do something, it delays the processes. Yeah. Yes. Castigada por vida, Angeli. <laughs> punished for life okay uh, punished <laughs> punished for life, for life. yeah <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. okay guys continue and i'm going to another room you are doing a great job go ahead Thank bye you. guys Hello, people. Why are you so quiet? Because we are talking about what Carlos do in your company. Oh, okay. okay. But he was he was he was told me that it is international. Oh. Uh, company. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And we was talking about when we forgot. Oh, uh, okay. Give some information or or <laughs> instruction yeah. or that but, people. Okay. My, my computer is please I don't look at the field in oh. your kitchen. I don't I don't oh. see I don't know okay. why the, but but the conversation is not uh, good. Ah okay <laughs> only with the audio okay okay no, no problem uh, uh, we can see you teacher. We yes. can see you, and that's the important thing now, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, tell us an experience. Tell us an experience when you forget giving instru uh, following an instruction that someone gave you. I told to, I told to Carlo when, when we start to, to work after time, uh, we have to make a list of all our bus stops for the people is going to wait for the bus. And imagine I have in my cradle uh, 18 and, and 80, 90 people. Okay. And we have to call them. 80, one one. 80. 80. 80 or 90 people. Oh my God. And we have to call. Yeah. I, I oh, did sorry. this activity for three days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is it is terrible work at home, teacher. Oh, really? But, uh, I told to Carlos uh -huh. that sometimes uh, I forgot to give some information to my information to my boss. Okay. And he called me uh, uh, around the uh, ten or eleven p.m. And, oh my God. Hey, Wilfredo, what happened? You didn't, you didn't get, give me the information about the people and my boss. She just called me and told me what happened, Carlo. Oh I need God. this information. And I was very, very shy. Oh, because yes. A I, shame. Yeah. I told you, wait one minute. I am going to send you. 
Hey, but quickly, man, because my oh. boss waiting for this information. But and Carlos told me your experience when he sometimes sometime his experience he, okay. he forgot to give or do uh, some activities in your job. Oh, yeah, okay. Sometimes it is funny, right? Uh, but sometimes, <laughs> oh, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating when when we make a mistake, uh, forgetting yeah. something or a part of the process, right? Oh, yeah, it's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. Then, okay, you are doing a great job. So I'm going to another group, okay? okay. See you. See Continue, you guys. Hey, and what about the messages? Do you did you forget um, to give any message message that you received for someone else? I I, I usually um, forget the, the messages. Uh, the bank called uh, <laughs> to my co-workers oh my and God. say, please. Give give the for the, the that number to you, colleague, and, and and please call me. I I, I forget, but it's in. It's como intencionalmente. Oh, no oh, oh man, it's not that. It's not that you forget. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and remember, we're on YouTube, so everyone is going to know now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, then, but yeah, yeah, it's true. Sometimes it, sometimes there are instructions that you already know and you're bored that every time you have to do something that it's unnecessary, right? And you just say, okay, I'm not going to do it. But that exactly time, it was important for you to do it. Is it? <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yes, it but is. Okay. Sometimes, uh -huh. so, sometimes teacher is very funny because uh, I talked to Carlo. Uh, sometimes in my job, we have a little cafeteria oh, where we okay. can go to drink a cup of coffee. And I remember that uh, sometime three months ago, I was drinking a cup of coffee with, with a coworker. And my boss uh, called calling and ask it for ask for me and where were you he say, hey you didn't <laughs> there uh, and he he told me hey darling oh my <laughs> god and my boss my boss i was like, just I having a cup of he coffee me, hey, <laughs> hey man we are waiting for you we, we can't oh, start the meeting because and you, you forgot that. oh my yeah. god yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry oh, i forgot god. okay but, Okay, then, guys, I'm going to leave you and let's see in the main room, okay? Okay, okay. thank you, sir. Continue, guys. Bye. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Is it funny when you forget the instructions or is it frustrating when you forget the instructions? 
It's frustrating. <laughs> It's frustrating. Okay, it's frustrating. Yeah, sometimes it delays the processes and sometimes um, someone is not satisfied with our job, right? So sometimes, yes, it is frustrating. But sometimes it's very funny. Sometimes it's very funny because there is a way that doesn't affect affect uh, anyone else more than my job, right? And then that is funny. But I want to tell you an experience. I, I want to tell you my experience. When I, well, uh, have you had classes presencialmente? Basically uh, from Insofor, have you ever had? Yes. Okay, yes. then uh, you, you can be my witness here. We have to sign a list, a physical list, and it has to be signed with blue ink, okay? That's a rule. And if, for example, as, an, as the instruction forgets, if I forget to pass the attendance list for everyone to sign, then it will be a problem, right? It will be a big, big problem so imagine we were <laughs> we were in the last class in this module imagine imagine the scene and everyone everybody was so happy because they were receiving the degrees and everybody was so happy because they finished and they was going uh to be promoted to the next level so oh yeah we're okay and we're celebrating okay imagine that scene we were celebrating and pupusas we had pupusas that morning so everybody was laughing ha 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 da, da, da. when i uh well everybody finished everybody went to their jobs uh, they left the university so i went back to the office okay to the office administration office to turn in uh, all the material and they ask me, where is the list? The attendance list. Oh my God. And it was the last day. I wasn't going to see the students again. Can you imagine? Oh my God. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? So you know what I had to do to fix that thing? I had to go to every office uh, to, uh, from every student to get the signature. Can you imagine that? I spent a whole day <laughs> gathering all the signatures in the attendance list. So I had a very, very frustrating day. They were happy because they were promoted, but I was not happy. <laughs> I wasn't really happy. Can you imagine going from one office to another office and the whole San Salvador? Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my God, it was a very bad experience. So we don't have to forget the instructions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yes, tell me. But Carlos told me that it is funny when the finish is, the finish is happy. Oh, yeah, uh, you're we right. Can, we can, we can make fun. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you say olvido in, in English? Forget? If I can say, uh, es el olvido es divertido. Uh, the missing, oh, the missing, the, the missing. missing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the missing or the blank out uh, too. Is, uh -huh. Yeah, it it is funny, but <laughs> when we have to 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 uh, explain what happened, yeah, maybe that's a problem. Be an important. Yeah, it is. It is very very frustrating. Yes, it because is because we have to explain. Yeah. yeah. So imagine me after the pupusas, I had to go the whole day, you know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and it was a really hot day. It was a really hot day because we were in March or something. March, yeah, uh, before the quarantine. It was before the quarantine, the last day that I wasn't going to see any more of these students. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, it was it was really <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> okay.
Okay, guys, now let's go to our manuals and we have to complete, we have 10 more minutes to complete an activity. This activity is to complete some sentences. So let's go there and you are going to help me with this, okay? Let's see. Okay, today, Carlos Ernesto is going to be the moderator, okay? He's going to be your teacher today. I introduce Carlos Ernesto as your new teacher. Yay, everybody, yay. There you go. <laughs> <I go. laughs> okay, everybody's going to help Carlos to uh, solve this activity. Please, Carlos, read the instructions and you moderate here, okay? Okay. What is the page, teacher? It is 32, I think. Thank you. Okay, there you go. The instruction say, write the sentences using negative and simple past. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Um, somebody help me. Or I, I say the name. Hello. Hello. Me, Carlos, me. Uh, number one, I think is, uh, okay, number one is, I am satisfied, satisfied with my laptop. Uh, maybe it's an, in negative form, I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Awesome. Was not, wasn't. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh huh. Say the other people. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. The answer is correct. <laughs> Okay. That's for Carlos. Okay, number two. Martha didn't write a letter to her boss. Didn't write a letter to her boss. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, but I don't say, but I don't, I know, I don't know. It's correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what do you say, people? It's correct. For me, it's correct because uh, after the use uh, didn't, you use um, the verb write in the present, uh, in the present. Right. Charlie, are you going to do the three? Okay, thanks. We were in so happy with the full service. We were in. 
Ah. What do you say, people? Is correct? The number three? Hello. Yes, that is correct. Yes, correct. Somebody help me with the uh, number four. Carlos, are you able Pedro, to? Are you Pedro, able? Pedro, me, uh, me and draw. Draw to the company. Pedro and me. Pedro and me draw the to the company. Draw to me. Draw to the company. Pedro and me draw. The pass. The pass. Remember, it's in negative form. We didn't drive, or or Pedro or Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Yes, that is correct. <clears throat> Because remember the, the, the instruction said using negative and simple past. <clears throat> okay, number five, or I say the name. Number five, the principal didn't send many emails. Hmm? Sorry, teacher. I can write. Yes, go uh, ahead. I can. I can write. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> can you or can you? Can Can you write the answer, Carlos? No, teacher. I can. Okay. Then I'm going to continue. Okay. Go ahead. Help me with the number six. The program, Hello? the program wasn't too slow. Wasn't too slow. Yes, I agree with the answer. Repeat, please. The program wasn't too slow. What do you say, people? <clears throat> yes, right. Correct. I think so. It's correct. Teacher, I'm not staying in all the class, but I understand uh, when we use the verb to be. We use verb to be in past. Maybe was uh, where, right? Yes, correct. Correct. When we do use. you use when don't use the uh, verb to be? You use did. Didn't because uh, we don't use did for the positive way. We use uh -huh. didn't for the negative way with didn't uh -huh. with didn't. the present form of the verb, okay? Uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. Or the infinitive, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. 
pensé que había entendido mal, teacher, pero no, gracias. No, it's okay. Hey, teacher, I don't know. Excuse me? I don't know, is uh, I'm you did a good, okay. yes, you did a good job. You did a good job. Thank you very much, Carlos, for being the teacher today. Okay, everyone, everybody clap for uh, Carlos Ernesto. Clap, clap. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now let's see. Just a reminder here, okay? This is just a reminder. Remember, let's, let's remind what Carlos said. When they are saying something about someone or something, then we use the to be verb, okay? For example, here, they are saying an adjective, okay? So I am satisfied, I am satisfied. But if, if the person, couldn't be satisfied, then we're gonna say in the negative way, I wasn't, okay? I wasn't, past tense. I wasn't satisfied. Now let's see, Marta, for example, ah, it's she. So it didn't change. We didn't, it didn't change. Do you remember that in, and let's do this over here, remember. Yeah. What, excuse me? Teacher, yes, uh, tell when me. you use, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. When you use the was or wasn't or weren't not, it, the, I don't know, the satisfied is a verb mm -hmm. in this in this. No, no, sentence. in this case no. it's an adjective. In this oh, okay. case, it's an adjective, uh, right? As the last, um, the last activity we did yesterday, uh, mm -hmm. we said uh, I was interested. Interested in that case, it wasn't a verb. Okay, it wasn't a verb, but it is an adjective. So yes, we. The verb use... is was and weren't. This is exactly. the verb, right? The to be oh, verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. to be verb Thanks, in teacher. past. Okay, good. So now let's remember that when we are talking in present tense and we use I, I do and she does, then it changes for the third person. Do you remember? And also the verbs, for example, if you see there, right, ah, for Marta, Marta is she, okay. Marta writes, remember letter, letter S here, okay. That's in the present tense. That's in the present tense. But now let's see in the past tense, we say did, okay? And didn't for the negative thing, okay? Did, didn't. But in this case, for example, if we say here the negative for the present and the negative for the third person. For all the persons, for all the pronouns, we use didn't, okay? We use didn't for all the pronouns. So in this case, in this case, Marta didn't, aha, uh -huh. we use the infinitive, or the present form of the verb, didn't write, but we don't add letter S. We don't add letter S, okay? And also we use didn't, okay? Let's say this like this. And let's say you, okay? For you to remind this, okay? Uh, you didn't, for you to remember, you didn't write the letter. If you see, this doesn't change. This doesn't change. It's the same for all the pronouns. Uh, we use didn't and the infinitive form of the verb. Correct? Okay, guys. I think... Teacher, Excuse teacher me? I have a question. Mm -hmm. When we use uh, 
insistir para hablar en pasado, like a Marta did write the letter or did in the positive. Write. Yes, in the, in the positive. No, in the positive we use Marta wrote. Ah, okay. Remember, Marta wrote. Okay, past tense of the verb, the form. In this case, write is an irregular verb, so it changes completely. So Marta wrote the letter. We don't use okay. did. Okay, we don't use did in the positive way. We say Marta wrote, wrote the letter. I wrote the letter. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, then. I'm going to erase and I'm going to um, take the attendance, okay? Now you see, that is why I'm so worried to take the attendance. <laughs> now you know, now you know. <laughs> okay, there you go. Let's see. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. There you are. Oh, just yes. one second. Let me... Okay, Angeli. Uh, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi River... Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Ok, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Ok, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Ok, Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. Ok, María Fernanda Gaviria Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Isaac Montoya Avila. Okay, then today the time or the turn is for. I had it out there and I forgot. Now let's see. Uh, Leslie. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa, today is your turn to stay in the assessment. Are you able to do it? Are you staying with me? Okay, perfect. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Class right. dismissed, right. and right. let's Thank see you. us Thank tomorrow. You. Let's meet us tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody. Bye-bye. See you. See you. Bye, good night. Tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye -bye. Okay, Leslie, here we are. Okay, teacher. How can I help you? Um, 
no me quedó muy, muy claro el uso del el didn't. El didn't. Didn't, correcto. Right. Ok. Didn't is for the negative form of the past tense activities or uh, for the past tense, things that happened in a last occasion. So uh, just let me share with you the... Um, the manual, okay? I'm going to show you in the manual. Mm, I see I closed it maybe, no, here it is. There it is. Are you able to see it? No, right? Okay, here it is. Okay, here. Here we have some sentences. Here we have some sentences that are expressing in a negative way things that didn't happen or did happen in a ne negative way. So for example, number one that you have there. Okay, and the number one, it says, I didn't receive any number. I didn't receive any number. So what Imagine, let's imagine, mm -hmm. que en una forma positiva, okay, el pasado sería I received, okay, I mm -hmm. received a number. Esta sería la forma positiva de esa negativa que estamos viendo ahí. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I, en la forma negativa que está ahí, didn't, okay, didn't, que es did not, okay, did not. Vamos mm -hmm. a utilizar, we are going to use the present tense or the infinitive form of the verb. In this case, the infinitive of received is receive, okay? Mm -hmm. Y ahí lo que estamos diciendo es que no recibí, okay? Mm -hmm. Pero el did hace que receive sea pasado, ¿ok? Aquí no vamos a poner didn't y en pasado received. Mm -mm. Es mm -hmm. incorrecto, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. That's completely incorrect. So we use didn't to say no, ¿ok? And the verb in infinitive or the base form of the verb. In this case, the verb is receive. Okay, I didn't receive a number. Okay, now okay. let's see. For example, I tell you now. Okay, Leslie, I'm I'm sending you or oh, this this is this. I'm going to tell you, Leslie, I sent you an email yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué me podrías decir tú si no lo recibiste? If you didn't receive it. So, what is the way to say that? Mm, sería, I did, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't receive. Okay. Ajá. Yo no recibí. Eh, no, I didn't receive an email yesterday. Okay. I'm going to write it just as you said, okay? An email yesterday. Do you see? This is the use of didn't. Okay. O sea que cuando se ocupa el, el didn't, uh -huh. eh, cambia a pasado el, el receive. ¿Cómo, cómo sería? El verbo, la, el verbo, el verbo. The verb. Ajá. Uh -huh. The verb. I can't see here, but yeah. Yes, the verb. It changes into past. That's the meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Oh, I see. Correct. Is there any other question that you have? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, okay. No, plan. Okay, Solamente great. Solamente era mi duda. Eso de cambiarlo. Okay. Hacia... No okay, then. You just use the did not in a contraction way, in a contracted way, and the infinitive of the verb. So, present, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And then it is the past tense. Okay, then. I'm glad you understood this. And well, then see us. Uh, let's meet us tomorrow. Okay, in the class. Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, see you. Have good, a good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye, Leslie. Bye bye. Okay.